Hey y'all and welcome back to Flat Rat FPV. Uh, today, real quick, I'm going to show y'all how to wire up one of these little things that you get from me to work with the uh, DJI system in your vector. And also I'm going to show you how to wire up just a regular one, uh, one of the ones that you would just normally buy instead of uh, ones the ones you get from me. That's it, let's get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and focus on uh, this one right here, these little units that you get from me. So when we're looking at our vector, uh, we're going to look at the mini vector right here. The outputs are going to be the same for the full size vector or the micro vector. It doesn't matter. So what we have is we've got the 5 volt out, ground, transmit, and then receive. So the only two that we're going to be worried about are going to be the ground and the transmit. So on this particular one, it's going to be the black and the white wire. So we're just going to kind of get these. We're going to get the uh, voltage and the receive out of the way because what we're going to be doing is transmitting to our to our unit okay so on our unit this is how it comes this is the pigtails that you have you're going to be using the for this particular one you're going to be using the yellow okay so yellow is receiving from the micro vector to our to our uh, arduino all right so we're going to take these we're going to get these soldered and we're going to get these soldered together all right, now after we have that, we're going to uh, focus on our air unit for a couple seconds. So what we want to look at for the air unit is going to be the white wire coming off your harness. That's going to be the uh, receive for the white wire. So we're going to take that off. So we're going to take this, and what we're going to do is in this, again, with this unit right here, we're going to take the white wire off of that, and we're going to, uh, we're going to solder those two together as well. All right? Okay, so after that, we're going to take... Are, this is where it gets a little bit tricky with the air unit, okay? So on the air unit, on the harness right here, you've got a, a signal ground, which is going to be that uh, brownish looking wire that comes out close to the end right there. So if you want to find that, it's going to be this. So this is going to be your signal ground from your air unit. Get this mess of wires out of the way. And we're going to take the signal ground and we're going to take the ground from the vector as well. Just remember, we're only using the two from the vector. It's going to be the ground and that. So we're going to take those two, and we're going to solder them both to the ground on the Arduino unit. Because it's important to ground both of those together with the Arduino. All right? So let's do that. Okay, so now that we've got that done, that's all the connections as far as wiring it up to uh, make it work. Okay? So you're going from the transmit on your micro vector or your regular vector whichever it's going to go to the yellow wire of this which is going to go uh, to our arduino it's going to process and spit back out it's going to transmit through here and go into our receive on our air unit which is going to be the uh, white wire so we tried to color code that together as best i could for you so it's going to be white to white yellow to white on that side and then uh, the brown has got that common brown the common ground between your air units and your vector, and that's going to ground it all together. Okay, so let's talk about powering it real quick. So these are going to be your power leads, and there's a couple of things you can do with this. Uh, typically, what you're going to want to do is use a BEC like this that can do five volts, and uh, that's what I use on pretty much all of mine. Now, if you're lucky enough, if you're using the uh, Arduino board with a full size vector, you'll have a plug on the wiring harness for the 5 volts that you'll be able to use that for. You would just put a little GST connector on this, and it would plug right into that little white uh, little white GST on your full-size harness. And I'll put a picture of that up so you can kind of see what it looks like. Okay, so uh, we're not going to wire this up to the power because people are going to power it from different ways, but uh, this is typically what you should use for that. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, well, I take it back. Some people have used uh, the 5 volts out on their... Uh, UART on their vectors to power this unit. Now, I've heard yes, and I've heard no on both those series. It seems like if it's going to have, if you're going to have a problem with a vector, you don't want that to interfere with the power distribution going to your video link. So, I mean, it's up to you. Again, I would suggest using the BEC or using that clean power, that clean 5 volt power from the harness on your full size vector. All right, and that's it. Okay, so now we're going to repeat the same process, but I'm going to show you how to do it on a regular board. One that if you didn't get it from me, if you just got uh, the regular board, you've already got the hex flashed onto it and uh, how the wiring process on this is going to be. 
All right. So again, on your vector, you've got the uh, you've got your power, your ground, your transmit, and then your receive. We're going to not use the power or the receive right now. We're just going to use the ground and the transmit. So on your Arduino chip, what we're going to do is we're going to take the white wire or the transmit wire on your vector, and we're going to solder it to the D8 pad right here. So once you get the D8 soldered in there, we're going to take, I'm going to go ahead and focus on the white wire from my air unit, or air unit harness, and that's going to be the receive wire on that. And we're going to, and we're going to tap that right into this last hole right here that says TX1. That's where we're going to put that. All right. So once you get your transmit wire hooked up to that to go into your uh, air unit, now we're going to focus on the grounds. Okay, so the two grounds need to go together. You've got your ground from your micro vector. And then we've got the brownish looking wire from your air unit, which is the signal ground. And we're going to take both of those together and we're going to put them in the ground right here of your Arduino board. All right. So what we've got, of course, we've got our transmit from the micro vector going to, sorry, going to D8. We've got both our grounds going to the ground. And then we've got our uh, receive from the air unit, the white wire going to transmit on our Arduino. Uh, other than that, you just need to make the power lead connections, and uh, that's it. That's all the connections that there are to make happen. Uh, when I do the soldering on these, I try to take and I will uh, solder the solder the little area. I'll put the wire in there as well too, to trying to keep it make it uh, a little bit stronger. Uh, any surface soldering things like that it seems like they can come off, but whatever your method of soldering is, I'm sure it's going to be fine. So as far as powering the unit goes, there is a couple methods that you can do. We spoke about this a little bit earlier, but uh, again, using the BEC is probably the most reliable one to use, and it'd probably be the way to go. But that's it. That's how you uh, wire those up. Okay, so I hope that helped. Uh, I get questions about that all the time, about the wiring up of the module or just on the regular Arduino board. So that was a couple examples there. Uh, there's also some wiring diagrams on the Facebook page if you still have some questions. Uh, you can also uh, message me, contact me. I'm happy to try to help you out as best I can. And that's it. I appreciate you uh, watching the video. And if you liked what you see, then uh, like and subscribe. Thanks again.